Hello and welcome back one and all. So I am here today bringing you a much anticipated video of showing you all of my bank items. So quite a while ago I showed you all of my inventory items so now they've added in the bank preview basically I can show you all of the bank items and there were some hidden gems in here so you may need to have a bit of a well a quite a quick eye in order to catch some of the items but I think flicking through ignore the scrolling on the left just look at the pictures of the items it's so much easier at least that's what I found because my clicking was one hell of a thing I tell you through this but if you haven't already make sure of course you hit that subscribe button and don't forget about the giveaway for the corrupted chronomancer that I'm currently doing so I've got a few favorites in it and you will notice I take out a couple of items as I go through. There are loads of items I could have removed, but I simply do not have the inventory space. But now I have the bank preview, it's really useful because some of them, for example, in a little bit, we come onto some flaming fists, some azure ones I didn't even realize I have. Um, I'll be going through the weapons and the armor considerably more steady, and then we'll zoom faster through sort of the helms and capes because they're a little less interesting and the pets, of course. But as far as swords go, they're not too bad. There are some stuff here from, well, God knows how long I've had some of this. I didn't know most of this even existed in here. So, tons of star swords, but they'll, of course, be from, like, the upholder shops, I imagine. And quite a lot of dage gear that I never realised I had. That was quite a shock, not to mention the good old Nulgaf gear, like the golden dragon mace thing, axe, whatever the hell that was. And lots and lots more. Tons of doom stuff from the Wheel of Doom. And these are the fists I was all on about. They are actually really cool. And I was so pleased I found them because I was trying to get some flaming fists for absolutely ages. And then you turn around, you have some in your bank. Dual blades of domination, dual blades of forsaken, all this sort of stuff. I didn't even realise I had and some of it is actual quite rare gear so well actually quite a lot of it is rare gear in here I imagine but I'm not going to go through every single item and discover if it's rare or not because that would probably be a little bit sad now you will probably notice that I'm going to be talking through as much of this video as I physically can and by the end of it I'll probably have a sore mouth I imagine because you know talking for such a long period of time there's the blip and blood titan axe thing didn't even know i had that in there so i must have farmed the blood titan at some point don't recall doing that at all because i didn't even go for the class i have actually got quite a few class there was the jewel forsaken thing oh no that was the pole arm of it again yet another variant of the same weapon now i quite like the fact that i've got sort of darth mole's lightsaber in there and i also had some dual versions of lightsabers as well but i think it was like a yellow one don't know why i'm calling them lightsabers but you will sort of get what i mean so on to the classes a few alpha omegas arch paladin blood sorceress dragon knight forgot i totally had that evolved pumpkin lord then we've got royal vampire lord sentinel legendary hero legendary arch fiend mecha jouster i've got more classes hidden away in sort of the um achievement tracker you know shops and oh, there's the azure now we'll come back to this armor at the end of the video because you need a better look at it to appreciate it but i really did not realize i had that and i think it has a really cool effect with it don't know how old that armor is off the top of my head can't even think about it at some point they made d-dog sea serpent gear adventure coin again no idea they did that because it was certainly just a member item originally quite a lot of chaos lord stuff as well that i didn't even realize i had and doom naval commander not a clue that that existed in my bank account so that's the reason it's never been dropping from the wheel of doom for me because i already had it the thin guy armor is actually something quite interesting might try that out for one of the goofy sets whatever that big ball of blue was a minute ago christ knows what the hell that was some nice ninja sets mecha jouster can't go wrong with that some king thing few ascended gears legion items as always and of course some of this will be just again from badge trackers and that but i have no idea how the hell i obtained a phoenix i might actually have to go and have a look at that we'll come on to some vip armor soon again there's the sandy claws mogulin suit now i got that quite near the start whenever that first came out and i've just stored it in the bank since so i've been a member for quite a while actually turtle marauder and there's the vip thing which actually didn't look too bad i thought don't really know much about that one either don't have a clue how the heck i oh no i do know how i got vip because that's some achievement badge thing how the heck can i forget about that so we'll skip through the hairstyles quite a lot of hairstyles in there um some cool shades we just went past somehow i had wolf wings helm Again, didn't know I had that. Holiday Paragon, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, sorry if you think I'm going through these a bit too quickly, but I thought people wouldn't be as interested in the helms I had in my bank. And, you know, you can just pause on one. If you see another Paragon one there, Paragon Jester, which was quite cool. Um, I don't think there's too much else in here. A couple of Valentine's bits of gear that we come across with pink feathers in my hat. 
which I thought was alright. That was the recent code tank thing, which is really, really ugly. That was a really big helm, I think, the Ultra Matrix thing. I'm going to go have a second look at that later on just to see what it's all about. Some cool capes here with some effects. I haven't got a bomb of capes because I never really collected them, but quite a lot of Doom stuff again there. Some weird spider legs. No idea what was going on with that a minute ago. The Cinder's Cape of Doom, which gives you, of course, a little eye because you have a thing. An Eternal Flame, the Vampiric one, which is very nice. Always use Eternal Flames, I think. And then we got some alright pets here. Anyway, guys, so we're nearly at the end. Oh, Doom Zorbat Bank Pet. That is very good. And the flames. So you could be double flamed. You could have the cape flame and the pet flame. How cool would that be? And then just a load of random items. So, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the video with a like and, of course, subscribe. And this is the set I was on about, which I think actually doesn't look too bad, but doesn't really work at the same time. But not too bad just to find lying around in your bank with the cool skull sort of thing going on. So until next time, have a lovely day.